Just be careful with the briefcase and the mic. Okay. All right. You got. Why you pop yours? You ain't. Personally, you talk like my little brother. Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead. Go How on back. You? I'm 26. Okay. And you and you and you talk like my little brother. I Where feel like from? I'm talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there, and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. What, also, what I don't like that the fact that you put briefcase? your hat. What would be considered a fake briefcase? Why do you have a hat on? Fake briefcase, though. Fake briefcase. I mean, the hair done. Something. It's done. It's done. So why done. didn't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I understand. I just want to see your hair, though. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with. You feel me, Chicago women most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all yeah. that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother, so. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. That's so because talking... we from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> I can respect I that. just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have, on your day-to-day -day speak. <laughs> Speaking to all the other women, trust, I know, you're good. I, 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 I talk like where I was born from. I got, I got a real like respect. I, I can't let you like, you feel me, throw down what I've been through, you feel me? I'm I never a, said what I, you went I, through I'm just with. Saying, though, you, 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 you tried though, darling. No, I you didn't. feel me, so I want you to know like, I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. I have a bachelor's That's degree, fine. you feel me? What, I've, what I do right now, I work with mm -hmm. people every day. So I don't want you to just throw shade on hood niggas in general. I wasn't throwing shade on you, Because I speak with a little slang. I got a little hood to me, but I'm mm -hmm. educated, baby. No, that's fine. We can move forward, thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our Definitely. three ladies. Definitely. You know, one thing that I noticed um, when watching some of these dating shows is that if you allow the women to talk long enough, they will um, expose why they're single in the first place and why they're on these dating shows to begin with. And I think that that is exactly happened with this woman that just made that comment. OK, you know, the, the thing is, this man that came on. Um, I actually watched the full episode, so I'm going to give you a little bit of the briefing. You know, he um, he did talk about the fact that he was college educated. He has a, a, you know, a good job. He is in whatever state they're in because he's taking care of his um, grandmother, who I think she took sick. Um, he is looking for somebody that he can provide for, um, you know, protect, provide and all those things. Um, he just wants a good companion, somebody that can understand him, somebody that's loving, nurturing, you know, just the basics, really, right? So he went through this whole um, situation where he was talking to a lot of the women and then he realized that this woman did pop her balloon. And so he was actually supposed to talk to somebody else and he turned around and I guess he saw her from the corner of his eye and he's like, wait a minute. You know, why didn't you pop your balloon for I mean, why did you pop your balloon for me? Why did you not want to further the conversation with me? And then we just saw everything that unfolded. Now, you know, it's very interesting because whenever we see um, this situation on the opposite end, when women are going into these um, conversations, a lot of the time from what I see, especially from the last one that I did a reaction to, um, you know, when the women are going in, the men always try to be kind, right? They always attempt kindness, as in they will say, you know, she's not my type, but you're very pretty. You know, you're not my type, but, uh, you know, you're beautiful. You're not my type. And because they're doing that to, to ease the blow of the rejection, right? They, they're trying to be kind. They're not trying to do too much. They're not trying to make the person feel bad. You know, in, in this particular show, they're not trying to, uh, you know, degrade or anything. They're just giving their perspective and saying why they are and are not interested. And, uh, and again, they say something to soften the rejection because they don't want the woman to get in her feelings or feel bad or whatever the case is. What's ironic is that every time it, the shoe is on the other foot and the women are in the position of quote unquote power to choose who they want to be with, they never cease to disrespect, degrade, or downplay any man for things that are very minuscule. It's like they get a thrill out of being disrespectful or bashing a man. 
And then you wonder why you're on a dating show and you wonder why you're single. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying every woman here was disrespectful, rude or anything, but this woman in particular, it's like she had it out for him to try to, um, you know, humble him. Because he came in there confident. Because he's sure of who he is. Because, you know, he, uh, in, in a lot of the women's eyes, was deemed very attractive. They all said the same thing. That's why she tried to humble him and disrespect him. Oh, there's nothing in your briefcase. I don't know why you have the flower. Why do you have the hat on? Why do you talk like that? Why do you walk like that? Oh, but you're gorgeous. A lot of women think that this behavior is cute. It's not. <laughs> okay? It's not. This same tit for tat that you're doing and disrespect for that you're doing is why um, a lot of women with this similar mindset or mentality or behavior will end up in relationships that will either not last long or you will be in situations that you don't necessarily want to be in and it's only because of you. I'm just being very honest with you. That tit for tat behavior, he says something, you say something else, he says something, you say something else, you know, going toe to toe with him, this stranger that you do not know, disrespecting him just because you feel like it. Everybody knows that there's a thing called code switching, right? The way that you would talk um, when you are around your friends or when you're comfortable with somebody is not how you would talk maybe when you are... Um, in a courtroom or in a business meeting, you know, people have ways that they speak when they're comfortable. They have their own vernacular with, you know, the way that they speak around again, like how he said, people who they grew up around their hometown, you know, this is not something that he is. This is not a business meeting. This is a place that he is, you know, putting on his outfit. He's showing his attire, his flair, his his swag. You know, he's being his real, authentic, true self because he wants to find somebody who's attracted to the real, authentic version of himself. And she disrespected him and downplayed him. He said, listen, I speak the way that I speak because of where I come from. I grew up, you know, basically he was letting her know I, my whole life could have been a whole different way based off of where I come from. And you being from where I'm from should understand that. Not come, uh, come from a place that you think you're better than me. Or I'm below you because of the way that I'm speaking. He spoke to her and he's letting her know like, hey, I come from struggle. She's like, that's great. Condescending, rude, nasty. If this is how you're acting with a stranger who you've only known for five seconds, I can only imagine how you act when you are in a relationship and he is saying things that you don't like or when you guys are disagreeing with one another. I can imagine how low you will go. The man has on a hat, so? Are you wearing your real hair? No. I love the fact that, you know, this man, he could have gone tit for tat with her. He could have. And some men will do that just to show you who you are. I love the way that he did it in an aspect of, you know, just trying to reveal to her how, um, how, um, what's the word that I would use? More than rude, more than disrespectful. Um, basically, he just showed her herself. He allowed her to continue talking enough that when he regurgitated all the things back and exposed what she was really doing, and she tried to gaslight and say, oh, no, I wasn't doing that. No, I wasn't saying that. No, that's not what I was doing. No, I didn't mean it that way. Yes, you did. How, how else were we supposed to take it? Instead of her, him, you know, sticking on her, on her appearance, he just said what he said and kept it moving. You know what? I'm not even going to play that game with you. You're not even worth the rest of this conversation. Because how you acted was so distasteful for no reason at all. It's so funny because a lot of the women who are, um, you know, like um, 
what men would deem as quote unquote like attractive or wifey material, they would not de even demean somebody because of the way that they speak. Like real intelligence would know that it does not matter how you speak or how you articulate yourself. That is not going to show me how much you know. It's not. Let me see you in a business meeting. Now I can see how you articulate yourself. And it still does not mean that because you are articulating yourself in this manner and somebody else is using all of these big words means that they know more than you in whatever field you're in. That's real. Not because you're saying, oh, you know, I, I went to this place and because I went there and I th does not mean that you are so intelligent that somebody's like, yo, let me tell you something. If you do this, this, this and this, this is what's going to happen. That's the truth. And you also don't realize that all the other people, all the other men who are prospective daters, you know, out there are watching this. And they are also going to see the way that you treated this man that you do not know. And they're going to move accordingly as well. Some men will see this video and, and say, oh, that's how she did him. OK, watch. Because whenever she gets to me. I'm going to make sure I, I humble her to the utmost because what he doesn't have the strength to do, I will. Again, a lot of these women think that this is attractive behavior. They think it's cute when you got an attitude and when you're rude and when you're disrespectful and when you're this and when you're that. And then when you end up in certain relationships over and over and over and over again, you can't figure out why and what's the problem because you the prize. I think we have to be realistic with ourselves and understand that, yeah, you have a part to play. Yeah, you were wrong for that. Yeah, that was unwarranted. You might feel good because a, a, a couple of women are sitting there giggling. Because of what you're saying, but you have no idea what they're really thinking in their mind. Sometimes women are trying to impress the other women around them. So they they disrespect men, not knowing that women are like, oh, girl, something wrong with you. I would never say that to a man. Their giggle is, huh? oh, yeah, you're bold. I would never do that. You're embarrassing yourself. And you mistaken the giggle for them. Oh, they supporting you. I don't know this woman personally. I'm the same observation that she gave this man and how she assessed him and how she went off, off of a, a very, you know, only a couple minutes of interaction is the same thing I'm doing in this video. Just giving my opinion based off of my observation. And I always say, whenever these women go on dating shows, I hope that they look at this and look at the um, commentary that comes comes with the videos as well so that they can um, understand how they are being perceived. And if they don't like it, change it. Fix it. Use it as a point to correct yourself with your wrongdoing, which I know a lot of women won't see their wrongdoing because they think that they can do no wrong. But if you're going to use this as a tool for something, it should be to check how um, people perceive you in your approach. That's just my opinion. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.